Okay. okay. So I'm driving, so you're gonna have to forgive me. I'm I'm in the neighborhood, so it's not gonna be long. But so Cole Jolly is one of my favorite people in the whole world. I'm just going to start off by saying that he is the IT guru. He is the most amazing person. If you want something done, he makes it happen. Um, I've been on his beta team for a while and he listens. He wants to make things better for us. That is his main goal is to make our lives easier. And he works, him and his team work really, really hard to make that happen. And I am so excited about this new, um, I don't venture that we have called learn and we did not get nearly enough of it at the conference. And so I called Cole and of course, Cole says yes, whenever you want. And so he is, and he's probably off work by now, but he has taken his own time to come on to go over this and you should, I'm going to make you co-host real quick so you can share your screen. I'm sure you're going to need to, right? Yes, correct. Okay. Um, so he is just, absolutely again one of my favorite people ever and i cannot wait to see what he's going to tell us and what he's going to teach us so y'all give it up for cole jolly oh. wow what, what an introduction geez thank you so much melissa guys so super excited about this um as as we announced at the at fling we um we announced learn um, the concept behind learn, let me kind of give you a little backstory as to why we felt like this was important. Um, I'm not sure how many of you know Marissa from corporate. She was hired on roughly six months ago as the senior director of distributor success. Um, our board of our board at Zingular felt very strongly that, hey, we we have a lot of support from the corporate side revolving around our products, right? Um, but we need some more support focus exactly on our distributors and their success. So th they're like, let's spin up a, a team around distributor success. And that's when Marissa was hired on because of her extensive knowledge of how can we help distributors succeed? And on that team, Marissa came, came in, we, she brought this team together, which has everybody from different departments focused on how can we better help you as a distributor succeed in what you do. And from that, we, we got a, a, we've been on lots of conversations, lots of calls with dis different distributors, and there, there's been something on our minds for a long time. We understand that as there are some, a population of distributors who come into the business who have, sorry, not a certain population, a large population where they come into the business and they have very supportive uplines, right? We have some awesome people on here that I, I've, I've met a, a bunch of you and I know how amazing you guys are, right? And, I'm, and I know how supportive you are of the new people who come into the business. Now, there, there is a smaller population of distributors who come into the company who don't have these amazing leaders, who don't have these amazing support systems to help guide them through um, what being a distributor is all about, right? And so Marissa and the team figured out, hey, we need to focus on how can we help these new distributors who don't have these supportive sponsors, how can we help them? What can we do and provide to help them succeed and in the business as a distributor? Because I'm sure a lot of you notice, and, and we here at Corpus know, notice that a lot of people who are joining Zingular as distributors have never had any direct sales experience before, right? And so what can we do to help support that? And out, out came this idea for Learn. What Learn is going to be is basically your foundation for what you should be doing when you first come into Zingular. And it doesn't mean that you sh should stop after you, you know, after you get your ground. These are some good principles that you might want to always come back to, to be like, okay, like, let me go through this activity again. Let me, let me see what, what else I can improve upon, right? Our aim here is not to replace what, what principles and concepts are being taught, you know, by, by Melissa and by other, by other amazing leaders here. This is to help supplement what they're teaching you. Um, 
And so with that being said, I'd love to run through it together with you guys today to kind of go a little bit deeper into what, what exactly each of these topics encapsulate. encapsulate. Well, I, if I could speak, that'd be great. Um, and as we go through that together, um, if there's any questions, feel free to raise the hand, make a comment. I'm not sure how we want to go about that, but I, I would be happy to respond to any comments that come up, okay? Um, before I jump into the dashboard, how many of you need want me to go through how we get to the dashboard? Would that be a helpful reminder? Okay, let's do that. Um, I'm going to share my screen, and we are going to go through the XBO. Okay, so let me do that here. There we go. Okay. So we are right now in your back office, your XBO. Um, from here, how we get to our dashboard is whether you're on mobile or desktop, it will be in one of the menus here. So on desk, desktop, it's gonna show you in the distributor dashboard. Um, in mobile, it's, there's like a three, we call it the hamburger menu. There's a three line menu at the top left of the screen. When you click on that, it will, there will be an option for distributor dashboard. So just click into there. And up will pop this, this page. Um, same login information that you use, log into your back office. So no need to change you know, your username and password. So as I log in here, we drop into the dashboard. Hey, Cole, I think you're showing the wrong screen. You guys don't want to see my email? What? Thank you, Heather. Why is it showing my, come on guys. I mean, I, you said she gave me this big thing about the IT guru, and here I am sharing my screen about, <laughs> about the, uh, my email. Love it. Big fan. Okay. Sorry. We can see my screen now, right? The correct screen. Fantastic. <laughs> okay. Let me go back through that. So here you're, you'll notice the distributor dashboard. Um, in mobile, it will be the top left where there's three lines. You'll click on that and one of the main menu items will be distributor dashboard, okay? Um, and when you click on that, uh, it'll take you to this, to this login page. Like I said, same login information you use to log into your XBO. Once I log in there, you're dropped into the dashboard, okay? Um, little side note, this is in the future, we're hoping this becomes the one-stop shop for your business as a distributor, okay? So we're trying to, bring as many things into here as, as we possibly can. And this is one of the things that I, I'm over. I'm very passionate about that we build that out so it's useful to you guys as, as distributors. Um, as we come in here, you'll notice this big learn across the top here. We'll navigate into there, okay? Now, the, the desktop and mobile versions are gonna be slightly different. Whereas when I log, when I click into here, you'll see this big, you know, graduation cap with a couple, some information, some just information here. Um, when, if you come in through mobile, all, you, all you're going to see is basically this section here where it shows the different topics and the business success title there, okay? Um, however, the experience is going to be very much the same as we go through both mobile and desktop. So I'm going to stay, stick on desktop, but as we dive into it, um, you know, I'm going to dive into, hey, this is kind of the concept as to what we're trying to accomplish here, okay? Um, getting started, right? First, the first topic, and if I ever say module in this, I, I'm, I'm ref, ref, referencing it being a topic. We had a lot of different conversations about what it should be named. These are our topics for learn, okay? And this, these five topics that we have right now, um, this isn't the end of, of learn. We are already going to begin work on a couple of other topics that we feel are important to help you get started in your business, okay? So get started. What is this about? Um, this is just the beginning of where, what you should be doing in your business, right? This, as a Zingula distributor, this is our welcome to you. You're going to see this, this video from Marissa. Um, I highly recommend watching it. It's, I think, roughly four, four minutes um, where she, you know, does, does a great welcome to, to you, the new distributor. 
um, and, and what to expect throughout LEARN and what this, this topic is going to cover, okay? Um, we, we believe that a, a great foundation to your start as a distributor can help you succeed, right? This is where we're going to kind of start that out with, hey, here are the, here are our products, right? As a, maybe as if you started as a distributor and not just upgrade from member, you may not fully understand what products exist in our catalog, okay? So we provide the opportunity for you to open the product, download the product catalog to, you know, later you could print that off or save on your phone um, for future reference, right? As you're talking to people about the products. Um, we, we kind of dive quickly into the quick start bonus, right? We have this, this quick start bonus guide video that, you know, I'm sure some of you may have seen before. Um, we just want to, to share that with these new, with these new people to, to help them understand what they need to do to earn their quick start bonus, right? After that here, all it is is, hey, you log into the, your, back, your um, back office, which a lot of people already have done that to get to the dashboard, but we're gonna start pushing for people to log into their dashboard first. So instead of logging in, into your XBO or back office, um, some people are gonna be navigating to the dashboard first, which I know are um, email communications that are gonna be sent out here shortly for new people signing up as distributors. It's actually going to be focused towards, hey, let's have you go to learn. And so it'll start directing them straight to the dashboard. And so this login, login and learn, login to your XBO, that's just for those people who haven't gotten into their back office yet, okay? Um, XDC, it's brought up in, in the video by Marissa where, hey, we have this amazing community um, of Zingo distributors and here's, here's where you need to go. And so we provide a link for people to then click on to take them to uh, our XDC, our Facebook page where they could request to join, right? Um, so one of the things that we, um, we realized pretty early on was, hey, we need, we need some type of glossary because there are so many different terms and terminology that we use as corporate and that, that some that distributors use in their, in their language to you know, some of these new people who may not understand anything about direct sales. So this glossary of terms is something that the team put together that we work with a bunch of different teams within Zingular to come up with some of the best glossary terms, glossary items that we can put in here, right? And I could even, even while we're on here, let me open that up to kind of share what that may look like, right? So we go through like PV, what's personal volume, what's qualifying volume, right? What's, um, what's, what does it mean to be 120 PV qualified? You know, what does it mean to be active in the business? You know, there are some, there are a lot of different terms that we use on a day-to-day -day basis that these people may not understand what we're talking about, right? And when they first join, it may be a, a fire hose of information. And so this could be a good place for people to, you know, to download and, 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 and look at and reference as, as their support of the as their sponsor is talking to them about, hey, you know, make sure that you're 120 PV qualified. Oh, you know, what does that mean? Let me go back and check it out, right? So this is a good resource for, I mean, even new people and, and existing people who may, there may be some terms in here that, um, that you may need some refreshing on, right? So super helpful guide for, for some, for people who are joining Zingular. Outside of that, just we want to provide um, them with the member service information, right? Um, their the phone number, the email address, and when they're open. Um, I, not a lot of content here as to like, okay, let's dive into what you need to be doing, right? This is more of, hey, welcome to Zingler. Here's here are our products. Here are some terms we you may come across as we go through this training. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our member service team. So something pretty general, but this is our, hey, let's get you started uh, on the way, right? Um, from there, we'll go into finding your why. Um, but before I do that, I, I want to emphasize the, the idea behind this, uh, behind Learn is, this is something that people can come to whenever they, whenever they need to, 
yes, we are going to drive new distributors to learn um, through the communication we're sending out to them as they're in their first you know, weeks of the business, right? But this is something that does not, that we're not expecting people to sit down in one day to go through. I, the content in here and the activities that we, we, at, that we provide could be done within a, like an hour or two, right? It's, it's not gonna take them a full, many, many days to do this, but this is something that could be spread out through some days if they like, or they could do this all in one day if that's the type of learning they prefer, right? right? Um, got it. Yeah, Jackie, I love what you, what you said here. <laughs> yeah. So, so Jackie said, gosh, I wish I had, you know, when I signed this up, right. This is like, there's a lot of information that, that I said, there's, you know, you're drinking from a fire hose when you first start. And, you know, as I, I'm sure a lot of you had amazing sponsors who are helping you walk you through the way, but there were probably a lot of questions you had that, Hopefully some of this can help solve and help answer. Okay, let me dive into find your why. So this, um, this module, gosh, I'm already saying it, topic, topic. Okay, this topic, find your why. Um, this, this topic hits home to me. And, and the reason behind this is, um, is figure out why you're here, right? There are a lot of people who, who join Zingular who have their why already, it feels like already when they join, right? Had a, an awesome weight loss story or had an, an amazing business side of the story where you know they were able to provide for their family, right? But there are those who may not have that why that we're trying to help you figure out what your why is because this is one of the building blocks to your story, right? For, as you're gonna start later on, we're gonna create your story. And a part of that story is your why. And so we want to focus on, okay, what is that? What is the reason that's dri driving you to, to do this business, right? And in my position, um, what, I, what I do a lot is I will focus on, okay, what can, you know, what can we do to better help the distributors, right? Melissa, I've worked with Melissa a bunch where she'll come to me and be like, okay, hey, what if we had this report? And I'll ask, you know, what's the reason behind it? Like, help me understand why. And then from there, what I do is I take it to my team and we, they actually, we go back and forth and they'll be like, okay, well, why is that? You know, what's the reason behind this? And we'll dive multiple levels deep of the real root of the reason why. Why it are distributors asking for this type of report? And, and it's a great exercise. And we, we run through that here in this topic where, okay, hey, first, let's say you join Zing, like we have this, we're actually having an example here of the different levels of why, right? Um, and Marissa goes through this exercise in, the, in her video. So we're going to ask you, okay, why did you join Zingular? And this example, I, you know, I joined Zingler to earn some extra money, right? Okay, well, um, why, why is that? Well, I, I joined so I could stop living paycheck to paycheck, right? Okay, well, why? Well, I, I'd love to be able to take my kids out to do more, to do activities more often. Okay, now let's dive a little bit, bit deeper. Why is that? You know, what would taking my kids to the movies mean to me? It may mean that I could give my children a better childhood than I had, right? And as you see, as we dive deeper into that why, out comes a more unique reason for you why you're trying to do the business. You know, all having a good product story where you've lost a lot of weight, that in of itself is amazing, right? You have, there are some people who have an amazing product story and some people who have great, you know, financial stories. Diving down deep into that why could help you, help set you apart from, from other people. There are certain things that mean a lot to you that can touch others as you're sharing that story, sharing your why. Um, this, this module is all about that. Um, is about, gosh, topic. You guys, uh, it, it's going to be the death of me. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> um, 
but this is all about that. Not a whole, like, as a, at, again, not a whole lot of information here. It's more about you figuring out your why. Because as we go into creating your story later, that's going to be critical for you to understand why you're doing this. Okay. Now, diving into setup for success. Okay. This is all about the business side of things. Okay. And as a Zingler business, what's important for you to have set up? One of those things is your replicated site. The site where you're going to send your new distributors potentially, or your new members to maybe browse the products or site or enroll themselves, right? So let's make sure we set that up for you. Well, start not for you, but with you, right? We're going to walk you step by step of how you actually do that. Um, we have both desktop instructions and mobile instructions, depending on what you're doing the business through. And in addition to those, we have videos that will actually take you through both mobile and, and desktop. Of how, even, the, it, even if you're trying to follow step-by-step step with the instructions, maybe you're more visual learner that we have those videos there, right? So we go through, okay, let's, let's show you how to customize your URL, right? It's that URL that you're going to be sending to, to prospects, you know, whatever that, whatever you'd like that to be, right? I, if I'm setting mine up, I may just want to have my first and last name so that people recognize it's my site. We show you how to do that, right? We show you how to update um, your picture that's shown there. Um, I, I don't know what one is actually on mine right now. Let's let's. I may have. Oh, it is. I updated with my family picture. Okay, so I guess I, I think I actually did that in the examples I showed you. So updating that picture that I just. So this picture, I mean, on my screen, it's so small compared to everything, but on mobile, it's a little bit bigger, right? So it's the, the image we're going to be having you change so that as people come and, and navigate to your replicated site, they'll see you. You know, this is all about branding your this site to be yours. Even though it's a Zing, Zingular based site, we still are giving you the opportunity to customize, you know, your picture, your, the URL so that it feels more like your business. Okay. That's what this is about. And then in addition to that, we also go into setting up or, or changing your Facebook or Instagram account, right? It all depends on what you want to do with your social media. Do you want to convert your existing account into your business profile? Or do you want to create a separate account, right? If you're wanting to to update your current profile. Here are some tips that we, you know, we're, we threw in some tips that we suggest for you as you're making it into more business profile, right? Um, like for example, we say, hey, make sure that the profile picture you have there is clear and large enough to see you, right? Like imagine that you're, we, we talk about imagining that this is, in an online site that imagine you navigating to um, some some other site. What what do you expect from a professional business to see on their site, right? And we kind of go through. Okay, here are some tips. What you should be doing with your Facebook profile and Instagram to kind of make it more professional, but while still keeping it personalized to yourself, right? We don't want to completely change who you are because. Everybody's unique. Everybody has something very special about them. And we don't want to take that away. We just want to help aid in making it that much better, right? So that's that's what this section is about, right? The setup for success is just more setting your online profiles, you know, your your, your replicated sites and your social media to be about you, to show others who you are and what you're doing here, right? Um, love it, Heather, love customized URL. Right, and that's, I mean, that's it's so important in a business, right? How cool is it that you can create a URL based upon, I mean, you? 
yes, we have the zealand in front of it, but you can make it your, your own. And how, just how, how, that's really cool to be able to do, right? Um, next we dive, oh, well, actually, we also show, give you the opportunity to download the social media guide, right? This is a, I, I forget how many pages this is. This is quite a few pages that our marketing team has created that here, here are some ways for you to go through and understand and learn how to have a better social media presence, right? You know, it, it's just kind of more focused on that. And so you can download that. We actually touch on it in a later um, topic. I see, Melissa, you have your hand raised. Is that the same one that they introduced last year during Zing Fling or Zing Fest virtual? I believe so, yes. Let me open it because you guys will say yes or no. It is. It, yes. Okay. Fantastic. I know that the idea is, I, I know that we as our team, the distributed success, we didn't create a lot of stuff. We're utilizing a lot that's already been created, except the, you know, the glossary, right? We, we put that together. But um, so some of you have already used that and okay, let me jump into love it. Love what you guys are saying here. Yeah. Hillary glad it's on here. Yeah. It's we've heard some great success through it. Definitely important to include it. And one of the activities that's actually a part of that is later talked about. And I think it's in, actually in the next topic we're about to go into. Okay. So creating your story. This is one of the most important parts of your business, or at least of you as a Zingler distributor, right? We've already gone through the topic of finding your why. You know, we, you've dug, at this point, you've dug super deep into, okay, here's my why. Now we, now we step into, now let's create your story with that why. And, and here's some tips about, okay, let's, let's do some let's do an activity and and go through some different prompts for you to kind of help sculpt that story right i there are some people like myself that that need this to help us create the a story that helps others understand where we're coming from you know i coming as an it person i'm not very good with my words sometimes right but having something that that i could go through a prompt a prompt to help me under like create more to my story helps me greatly. Right. And there are some people who are like me, you know, those there, there may be, I, I, I was going to say uh, squares and triangles that, but I'm, I'm not sure which one without going to. So forgive me as I'm already stumbling on that, but creating your story. Right. So we go through Marissa talks about the, these different prompts in here and we, we dive into okay here let's kind of, let's let's do this activity together right what, you know we start start off with choose a moment in time and one the first thing we even dive into i love i love this first prompt it says think about a time when things changed for you regarding your health or business you know write that down spend a moment write that down right um, what were some of those difficulties you faced in that moment what role did Zingler play in this, right? And do you see how that's starting to, okay, that, that role that Zingler played in this, you know, if, if that, if, if you're, if you're, if the prompt you said at this first moment revolved around health or business, you know, you're going to start seeing that your why is going to play into that a bit, right? That how did Zingler change that for you? Was this a health? part of, you know, did you talk about health? How did Zinga play into this? Well, the products, right? You know, the products help me lose the weight that make me feel good about myself and make me, you know, make me feel like myself again. Um, we, we, then we go to elaborating, right? You know, on that first moment in time that we've talked about, who did you turn to advice? What feelings or emotions did you experience in that struggle? Um, like describe how things changed and how you feel now, right? Some of these things may be natural for people to already have in their stories, right? When you found your why, maybe the story you already have created has a bunch of these parts to it, has these emotions, has these, the parts of housing 
played a role in this. But this is this will help people think about, okay, you know, let me kind of narrow that down and, and break it down to, okay, what my story truly is. What are some of the favorite parts of it? Um, you know, what products do you use now? How does the community help support you in this journey? You know, your business journey, your health journey. What, what has this amazing community helped you in your life? Um, then we talk about wrapping it up with a, a call to action. And the reason why we're doing this is because you're going to see that we talk about taking action down here. Wrapping it up, the call to action is going to be something that, that you want to be you want to be familiar with, you want to have ingrained in yourself, because this is going to be the part where it may be uncomfortable for you to ask others to take the step, right? And this is where those who have awesome leaders, they, a lot of times they help walk you through this call to action. And this is where we are going to have you prepare to start inviting others to the journey. And this is a part of your story, right? Yes, you, you know, you talk about your why, you talk about like what, what Zena has done for you it, to help you get to where you are. And now this is where you invite others to do the same, right? Whether that be, you know, the health journey, the business journey, right? And that's where, I mean, like from the, for any of you who were able to be a part of Zingfling and, and watch it or be there, you know, we talked about the different shapes, you know, the, the circle, triangle, circle, or squiggle, where understanding that how to better talk to the, these people, that call to action may change based upon the person you're working with. So having, having these prompts for you to figure out some good calls to action is critical to help helping your success, right? Um, lastly is take, take action. Share your story with friends, share it with family, social media. Um, and this is where we kind of go through a, a different level of, okay, hey, look into the social media, like ebook that we have here. It immediately takes you to pages 24 and 25, where it talks about um, you, like, who are you? What's your story? Kind of having that extra layer of what we've gone through at this point, right? Um, just help helping reinforce, hey, this, 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 uh, the social media ebook is a great resource. Let's go back and use that and help you kind of refine your story. Um, love Hillary. I love what you talked about, about Marissa doing these videos. Yeah, we, it, for us, it was very important that she did it and that it felt that it wasn't like this big production. It, it's, it's funny because we, all Marissa did was put her phone, just her iPhone on a stand ring lights recorded, right? And we, we had, we sent it to our marketing, marketing team to make sure that, you know, everything was good, add a little touch up to it, but that's all it was. So Mel feels more authentic, feels more like who we are as a company, right? So love that call out. We, we absolutely love her. If you haven't met her, find a time to talk with her because she absolutely loves you. She is like the second she came on here, I, remember talking to her, she was so, so in love with the type of people that Zingler has here as with you as distributors. So, you know, she got on calls with, with a lot of you and she felt the love from you and she just, she knew she was in the right place, right? So find her, if you haven't met her, talk to her. She is amazing. Lastly, okay, building your brand. So this is another building block of your business. And if you haven't gotten at this, if you haven't realized at this point, this is a lot of the stuff we've gone through. It, we're not trying to take over what, what your sponsor is teaching you, right? We're not saying, hey, this is exactly what you should do. What they're telling you is wrong. This is what you should do instead. No, this is to help supplement. Hey, here's some, some important building blocks to help you succeed with what your uplines are already teaching you. Here's some important parts to, to understand and to nail down, right? I mean, we've talked about your why. That's important. And to help create that story to help your why have a broader 
um, what, what I'm trying to say is help, like help bring your why to a place that will touch more others, right? Your why to some people, like to yourself may not be as grandiose as, as these other people's stories, but we've walked you through, okay, here's what's important to you and what will touch other people as you share that story. So this last part, we built, we go into building your brand. Um, we want to focus on you because I mean, at, as I mean, as we get down to it, this is all about you. We want you to succeed because we're, we're here to help you, right? You're, we're trying to help you on a health journey. We're trying to help you on a business journey, whatever it may be, whatever your why may be, we're trying to help that along the way, right? And so we want to focus on you here. Um, now we want to help you focus on, okay, with your brand, what are you, what's the most important thing for you to focus on, right? In the sense of who are your people? What, what do you feel most comfortable with as you start, as you jump into this, um, into this and Hillary jumped off. We'll, we'll see you later. Um, okay. So as we jump into it, validate your value, right? There's only one you use that to your advantage. What is your niche? What audience do you serve? Right. And this is where we jump into another writing prompt session where, Hey, grab pen and paper or however you want to go through this and start writing some of this stuff down. You know, what value do you want to bring to other people? What's, what is something that you want others to, to get from what you're bringing, right? Um, what sets you apart from other people, right? And that may be part of your story, right? Or, and, or your why. That may be the, your answer to this. What is setting you apart from others? This can be that, right? Know your audience, like, who are you trying to reach? Who are your people? Like, and that's where we jump into the writing prompt again. Describe the type of people you want to help with your business. Make a list of those people who you want to reach out to, right? So we start narrowing that down. We, you write down who, the type of people you want to succeed in this, who you want to reach out and have them join the, the business. And then that's when you start writing those people down, right? And now this is where you show up. How are you going to present yourself? Polish your platforms, refine your social media. Hopefully by this point, you've done that, but we would call it out. Um, and this is one of the things I love. What, what words would you want others to use to describe you and your business, right? If you take that step back, what, do, what value do you want people to, to get from your business? What do you want people to say about you and what you're trying to do here, Right. I mean, direct sales, have, there's a lot of people that struggle with direct sales in the sense of, oh, it's another, it's another direct sales company, right? A lot of you are here because Zingular is different. We're not, we're not trying to just get money. There's so much more than, than money here. It's changing people's lives, whether that be the source of income for, for you as distributors or if it's that health journey, Right. We are different and we want, and, and part of this is helping others see why you're different. What's different about your business that, that makes them want to jump into Zingular, okay? Um, and that's where, you know, we want to make sure that we've updated those, your social media at this point as well. And this is where we're kind of going, we're, we're going to push you a little bit, right? Um, this is where we recommend, hey, with your next order, whether that be, if, if you're a brand new distributor, let's walk you through an unboxing video, right? This is gonna be a, a live, a Facebook live. Let's get you out of that comfort zone. If, if a lot of you are uncomfortable with that, here are some helpful steps for now. Now that you've gotten through all this, let's help you share that story. You know, we talk about what's important about going on a live, you know, being yourself, you know, even though this is a business, people still care about you and want to see you as you are, right? Um, we talk about sharing some of the products. You know, if at this point, like if you're a new distributor and you don't have any products, talk to your offline, right? Have Get some of that product so that you can be, you know, trying some collagen on the call or even mixing some up as you unbox your new product, right? 
And these people may not know a lot about the products. That is fine, right? And that's why we, we've, at the very beginning of this whole thing, is shared, shared that product catalog so that they could have some talking points about some of the products that they're unboxing, right? They aren't supposed to be product gurus at this point. And that's, that's fine, right? Engaging with the audience. Those who are on your Facebook Live, engage with them. Ask them questions like questions that will make them comment or react, you know, and call that out, right? As, especially a, just like I've been trying to do here, whenever a comment pops up, you know, mention it. And, and if it's something that you may not know at that moment, that's fine. Just be like, hey, I, you know, that's a great question. I'll get back to you, which leads into the, the last part of it. But um, you, that call to action, that CTA that we talked about earlier with your story. That's where you're going to have that call to action to those who are listening in on your live. And then lastly, like, like I was leading to, this is where you're going to show them some love for those who did interact with your, with your Facebook live, right? Respond to those comments that you may, may not have known the answer to, you know, reach out to them and be like, Hey, that was a fantastic question. Um, I'm going, you know, let, let me take you along the way to, to get the answer for that. Right. Um, you know, follow up because that's, you know, that's where the, the call to action comes from. You're leading them to, to that action so that you can follow up with them. Um, and at this point, that's, you know, that, that's the end of learn at, for this current moment, right? I had mentioned at the beginning of this, there are a couple of different topics that we are going down the road of, right? One of those may, may be about the the compensation plan, right? There's a lot there that we're, we're not wanting to dive into the whole thing, right? But we are wanting to at least help a new person, a new distributor understand the basics, right? We've talked about the quick start bonus. There's a lot of good stuff already there, but we kind of want to help them along the way. We're still months out because as a team, we like to, we like to take the time, talk to distributors like yourselves to make sure that, the co that this content is helping supplement what you're teaching your new people. We're not here to tell you what people should be doing on a day-to-day -day basis because everyone's different. Everyone's business is vastly different. I'm like, if we learned anything from, from Fling, that was one of the things is, you know, everybody's different and ever, but here are some useful ways to kind of help you gain that, that foundation, right? Help you understand your why and, and why that's important for the business, right? People are coming to you because of you. And that reason why is gonna help bring other people that you may have not been able to reach, you know, reach if, you, if you hadn't had that story built and, and refined into you know, who you are and why you're sharing this with your friends and family in the world, right? So that's, that's learn you know, in general, right? I, I, I kind of went through a bunch of the prompts. We didn't go through any of the videos, which I'd recommend, even if, you know, even if you've been a distributor for a while, I suggest go, go watch them. You know, M Marissa is, has such an energy about her that it, it's so, she's so warm, so welcoming, right? And, and that's, that's especially critical for those people who are joining the business to feel, to feel welcome, right? We, we want to make sure that these people are, um, that they know that they're in the right place. And, and with amazing people like, like you guys, you know, they'll feel that. So that's learn. Any questions you guys have for me, feel free to add them in the comments or raise the hand. Happy to talk about what we've gone through here. And if not, and you want to go play with it later, that is totally fine. I, I am a visual learner, so I like to go through it myself. But I, I saw Melissa, you, you unmuted yourself. I did. I just wanted to thank you for jumping on and taking your time and, and going through this. I, I'm, I'm, I love it. I love everything about it. Um, I love the fact that you can go at your own pace and it just dives deeper than what, you know, than, than what we usually talk you know, talk to a new person about. So it just gives them a better understanding. And I love the fact the compensation plan 
um, that y'all are going to do that. Hillary had mentioned Extreme Builder. That would be fantastic that that would be mentioned. Um, but just giving them the step and still it's all step by step and it's, it's not anything overwhelming. And I really, really, now that you've gone through it and we've seen it, I, I love it. Yeah. That, that's the whole thing is like, there are, it can be overwhelming when you first come to the business, even if you have a sponsor who is, is there by your side, the entire way, there's still a lot, a lot to take in. Right. And, and so we want to focus on some of the very basics as to, what can you do to kind of to help build your business? And, and there are so many other tools and ways you can do that. But we just wanted to focus on some of the stuff that no matter even, like no matter if you're in a different direct sales, these are core principles that help you start that foundation. So I really appreciate that, that Melissa. That, that was a really good call out. Um, really loving all the comments, you guys. Veronica. Welcome to the company. It's amazing. So happy to have you here. This is so, so great. I, I hope you realize how, how, how we are, how much we are excited to have you here, right? I, um, I know that you're in, you're in good hands with a lot of amazing people here. I, you know, I've worked with a lot of these people and they are just phenomenal at, you know, making you feel at home and well, we're super ha happy to have you here. Um, you guys are awesome. A lot of thank yous. Uh, thank you so much for having me on. This is, um, I know, I know you, you said, Melissa, this is outside of hours for me. I don't, it doesn't matter to me. I, I think it's so important to have calls like this to help just kind of walk you through just to help, you know, we're all learning together. I, uh, you know, I think it's, it's super nice to have these type of conversations where we can go back and forth with different questions and comments to, you know, learn together. There's so much, you know, to, to learn. Um, oh, Tony asked a question. I'm assuming, M Melissa, this I will did. be posted. Yeah, we're going to let Veronica be our tester. So since she's brand new, we're going to let her be the first one, new person to go through it and give us our feedback. Yes. Do that, Veronica. That would be awesome. Yeah. I And Veronica, after you do it, if you could... I'd love to, yes, she'll, she'll do it. Love it. I please, please reach out to me. I'd love to hear, you know, how, how it went for you. You know, if there's any feedback, any negative feedback as, as Melissa knows here, I, I can take it. I can take it. And, and all, and the big reason, like, and the, the reason why I care to take that is because I want to understand why, right. Diving in deep to understand what's, you know, why are, why are you having an issue with some of this stuff? It's, I think it's important that, that you go through it. And if there's stuff that doesn't sit right with you, please reach out. We want to make it so that you feel welcome here. Okay. And I like that too, because stuff can make sense to us because we, we know it, but somebody knew. So that's exciting to me. Yeah, absolutely. Love, love that. Veronica, I hope I hope I hear from you. Okay. I'm gonna put her in a messenger chat with us. That's that. wonderful. All right. Well, everybody give give Cole some love and um we we truly thank you and you know we we appreciate you taking your time to do you this. You guys work. are awesome. Have a wonderful rest of your day, okay? Bye. Uh,